You are listening to the Happy Hour Toddcast presented by GoodCleanFunLife.com. Find us on iTunes by searching GCFL and subscribe today. I am Todd from GoodCleanFunLife.com. And I'm Tony Russo from OceanCity.com wearing a really interesting sweater. My, my wife got it for me. I don't know. I feel like I'm kind of like a flower with no puffy things, but this is it. I've got like leaves. I've got leaves. I've got a fuzzy head. I'm the world's largest dandelion. <laughs> you know, you're, you need just a, a little bit more salt and pepper on the temples, and uh, and oh. I have a camera on my neck, and right. we could reenact Spider-Man. Spider-Man. The re- later years. Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> After Spider-Man got old and Perry White got bloated. <laughs> It's pretty sad that I'm trying to compare myself to a Peter Parker character. Oh, well, they just keep getting younger and younger. Yes, the, the, the next one's going to be like Boy Spider-Man. Yes. So. Yeah. Uh, anyway, all sorts of fun stuff today. Uh, I've got I've got actually a, a couple fun things. Uh, we were out, we, we got out, we did stuff, and we also think stuff, and that's what we're here to talk about with you today. Uh, but before I get started with my stuff, we're going to get to Todd and his stuff. Um, if In case you missed it, you missed it, but you can check back on Todd's uh, Facebook page, we do uh, uh, Facebook Live. Tell us about Facebook Live, why don't you? <laughs> well, we just tried it. We're going to be uh, doing some other things. We've been doing our show uh, in a number of different formats, uh, and we, we always are looking to update it. We did a little Facebook Live intro, so uh, some people jumped on that. I think on there we already had more viewers than, than we've had here than yeah. we've ever had here but that's okay i get i get real uh you know i want to make sure that things look nice and are produced we have the the triple camera set up yes uh we're going to try to produce a piece uh and turn that around you we're know, our same very day. own sitcom we- <laughs> make sure that things look you have much more successful podcasts i do i'm i'm a podcast superstar now i didn't i didn't realize that but uh yes the um the we, we do one called So What's Your Story? And that's not even me. That is Stephanie Fowler from uh, Saltwater Media. I co-host, and I literally, I co-host because I don't ever shut up. <laughs> and so in case she runs out of things to say, I'm there to kind of pipe in. Yeah. But she hasn't really run out of things to say yet. The, the podcast is good. It's just audio. Um, and it's, I use my, I use my new, my new audio toy and it sounds fantastic. It's the best sounding podcast um, I've done. And this, this, since we've been using this audio, also equipment, sounds better. Def- definitely, Night and day better. definitely sounds sounds great. Um, yeah. So you talk a lot. I just end up bringing more cameras, <laughs> right? And uh, and making things more complicated than maybe they need to be. I liked our Facebook Live intro. Yes, I'm sure it was fun. I didn't see it. I'll see it later. <laughs> you were on it. I was on it. Yeah, I was. I, I. But I don't know. I don't know how it looked. Like I said, I'm. I'm I'm a little self-conscious. Today. The other thing that you can do, I, I use a I use a camera for one of my other podcasts, and I actually take all the red out of my face. That's how oh, you drop I am. it down. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Doug, because Doug will wear a blue shirt, and it'll be like purple because I take, or no, it'll be like gray because I take all the red out of everything. Um, but so the the Facebook Live is relatively new, but they've been pushing it. it they definitely been pushing it. It's that new thing we talked about it last time on the podcast. How like if you have a new site or a new business or brand that you're trying to to bolster, it's a great way to you know get to the top of the algorithms. I saw something the other day that Facebook is easing its sort of. Uh, they had a twenty percent rule if it was if there was too much salesy type stuff. Your Promoted post or your or your promotion style post uh, would get only get out to like twenty percent of the people. You know they're they're constantly playing with that algorithm, and we're trying to experiment with it and get more stuff out there as well. So uh, you know Facebook Live seems to go to the top of things. Uh, there's a lot of people doing it well. I think there's a lot of people doing it poorly. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm probably one of the people who's going to be doing it poorly. One of the things that uh, we've been considering using it for is something that I've been trying to produce for the last six months called Ocean City in 60 Seconds, and that's pretty much going to be my huge face. Sure. We were trying to get someone better looking and younger. Is that why you went for the haircut? That's, that's why I cut my hair so short. <laughs> the thing, actually, the thing about when my hair is this short, the gray comes out more. Yeah. Like, my, my long hair. I like the long hair, Tony. I like, it's a little bit more savage. Yes, yeah. yeah. And, well, I, I also, sometimes it gets really long, like, and it starts to curl and get, and I haven't had it like that in probably two years, but I'm thinking that I might not get another haircut until September or October. Just really do just the, let it go. Go the whole wild man route. Um, I like it. I like it. So 
Facebook Live. If you're doing Ocean City in 60 seconds, I think you already have a leg up on half the competition because you know the, there's just a couple real simple things and I know this is a half hour show. We've been doing it for right. a long time to the point where uh, I, I think it flows pretty nicely, and if you're sitting and listening, you're you're getting the whole experience. Right. Uh, but when you're scrolling and you're going through Facebook, you know, anything that's more than sixty seconds is is a little bit tiresome. Right. Frankly. Yeah. They so, have they have they have a lot, uh, and and Facebook isn't. I've seen a couple of them, and they all look they all they they all just look like. Um, like FaceTime. Yes. <laughs> it's like, hey, someone broke into my house and is FaceTiming with me. <laughs> so the the there must be a better way to produce it. I have I have an okay camera that I think that I think would be useful. Um, so if I could get the camera set, I I actually even brought my ha I have my uh, I have a, a tripod. I wish I were better looking. I'm not like no one looks at me and says, "Ooh, we want to go to Ocean City. We want to go where they keep people like that." <laughs> That's not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see your point. Um, it's funny because I actually have, I have a post that we're gonna be that we're gonna be putting out, and it talks about sort of just some basic techniques to make your even uh, amateurish video look better. Simple things like having the camera stationary. Right. Even though it kind of is a bad angle, but it's better to instead of holding it in front of you if you're doing the FaceTime live. You know, to have it resting on something, so it's 100% stationary. Right. The other thing is, try do your best to make sure that the natural light is behind the camera and in front of your face. That's a huge thing because you it's get these so like funny blowouts. How people, and people, it's a simple I, I, thing, right? It, right, and and the thing is, because oh, this happens to me with beer a lot of times, you forget that people don't do this all the time, <laughs> and they just don't know it. Like, of course, you like right, right. one of the reasons that this desk is here is because that window is there. <laughs> And because uh, of the desk, I was like, somebody's like, well, why don't you put it in front of the window? And I'm like, because if I put it in front of the window, we will never be able to take any photographs of ourselves because <laughs> of the light. And if I put it there, then we'd have the door in the background yes. and people walking in and out. This is a place we have a we have a, a natural a natural place for hanging things. We have some light from the side, a little bit of extra light. It's still a little it's still a little prisony here, but. <laughs> Still a little Afghanistan cave. <laughs> the prison, the but prison for, podcast. But not for lack of trying. Well, I might be doing that with Dave Miller before too long. And so, um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, actually, uh, I actually did the Google Primer this week. Oh, good. Yeah, and I don't want to take too much credit for it. I was really just bored, uh -huh. and I looked to see what it was, and it turned out to be something that I wanted to talk about anyway. Okay. And Hit uh, me with it. Um, personal brand. Okay. That's... As an employee. Mm -hmm. um, which is something that we've been doing, certainly something that I've been doing for a long time. Um, so that's why I want to talk about it, because I was right all along, and Google <laughs> just said so. Um, Vindication. Right. So one of the things that I do uh, is I write, I write for OceanCity.com. I'm the editor. Um, I write for Annapolis.com. I'm also the editor. Sometimes I lie about those things. Like, if I'm... Like, I don't say... It doesn't say... It says Tony Russo writer, uh -huh. because you want to make it sound like there's... Other people. Somebody, yeah, right. right. So uh, and and so, for instance, I write for Maryland.com a lot, and I don't say ever, I never say that I'm the editor of that, um, and or the sole writer or any of those things. But the idea is that I develop myself as the person who writes these things, you know. And, and the same thing with beer. I've kind of developed, you know, we have shortcraftbeer.com, and mm -hmm. I've kind of developed myself as as like the beer guy. And I, you know, and I don't talk about. I don't talk about like the taste of beer. I don't. I don't do. I don't do the technical side of it because I know people who are way better at it than me. Sure. And also, my job is to bring along people who aren't into it yet. Right. So I, I want to make it very accessible. Right. We talked about this. You're the, the you're the cultural impresario. Exactly. I'm not the, the beer impresario. Absolutely. I like it. And so. Um, one of the things that Google had mentioned in their primer, and if you don't, if you haven't signed up for the Google Primer, it's something really worth considering. Um, it takes 30 seconds, and it's really, I mean, don't want to be gross about it, but it's it's like a bathroom read. It really, it's five minutes, <laughs> it seven is. minutes, um, and you can scroll. It's gamified. Through. Yeah, and and you can do it or not. It says this will take you five minutes, and then you can say, all right, I have five minutes, or I don't, and I'm interested in this, or I'm not. Mm -hmm. And uh, if nothing else, it gives you it gives you ideas. If it doesn't give you any solid, you know, 
it, if it doesn't teach you anything, at least you're like, oh, that's something I should at least right. think about. Or it confirms something that you've are you. Or been if you're for me, years. fortunately, if you're me, uh, it, it confirms how how brilliant you really are, way deep down. But one of the things that people are often talking about, one of the things that makes me a bad salesperson, um, and I'm not like that's not my job. Like I don't sell, so it's right. not. I'm not really a bad. But what would make me bad at sales is I'm not really good about talking about anything other than myself. Right. <laughs> you could sell yourself. But, and well, it's not telling myself, it's just not shutting up until people are like, oh, that's Tony Russo, that's that guy that never shuts up. <laughs> uh, but one of the things that, that helps is, as I go out and people see me and I'm out taking photos, um, and another thing is, oh, look at this, props on the side. Props on the side. I bring this every place. Yes. I mostly use my phone. Uh huh. But you have that. He's got the big light. It's like, oh look, he must be official. It's legit. He's got. He's. I mean, everyone has a camera. I mean, everyone has a camera in their pocket. You can have credentials, but if you have a standoff flash, yeah, that's then, legit. Then that's it. And I and I hardly ever use it, um, but I have it. So recently, we were at uh, the Dunes Manor had a had a grand opening of a new suite, new set of suites that they that they have, and I was there, and everybody was kind of getting together and. They were having trouble getting the stand and you know the, the ribbon cutting, and I just took took charge. And everybody's like, "Oh, he's got a camera around his neck. He's in charge." So I'm like, "Okay, you got to move in." Everybody look at me. And there were other people there who were taking for the paper with their phones or with their little cameras, right? Yes. But I was the guy with the big camera, and I was the guy that said, "Look at me." And so I got the best shots. Yeah, yep. No, it, I've uh, I've always said this. We started our career taking pictures of people in bars, and you know, oftentimes without you know really consent but it's a public place <laughs> right uh and i just remember any anytime anybody would ask i would say you know first of all you have a camera so there's a certain level of legitimacy you're asking them to get their picture and then they're like uh, oh what is this for i just say oh it's for the website right oh. the website the website yeah of course why wouldn't it's it be? going on the web right that's where we keep all of our you're like oh okay um, as long as you're not one of those newspaper people <laughs> So, so my tip this week, uh, if, if we're gonna if we're gonna call it a tip, is that you should start to, to make sure you cultivate yourself for what you do. Now, Google, like, it's easier for me too because I'm I'm a writer. It's what I mean. I write like I was talking to somebody the other day, and I was saying like, yeah, I write professionally and amateurishly and as a hobby. Like, so like you know, I try to get things published that I don't get published. I do. I publish things. I'm in charge of publishing things. I try to get other things published that I sometimes have, and then I write things that no one will ever see, but just because I like to write. Right. Like, write. It's like what I do. Yes. So, like, pushing myself as a writer isn't that hard a leap, but what Google talked about was establishing yourself, like, like may maybe the way that you do, as you know, you you might blog about what you what your video production is like. like right. Like the tips and tricks that you were just talking about. Like, hey, here are some tips for if you want to use Facebook uh, Live. Facebook Live, is that yeah, what it's called? Yeah, that's what we're calling All it. All right. <laughs> or is it just us? Or it's is just everyone us. calling yeah, it no, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we so you, you, you become then the kind of the expert on Facebook Live. Right. Because you're the guy who writes about social media this way. Right. So we do a lot of, uh, you know, production work for for clients and uh, our philosophy has always been, um, you know, to show people in a positive light, even when we're shooting pictures of them at bars. Right. Um, but, uh, but you know, really a, a business or brand or a product, it, it, it's, its personality is predicated upon the people who work there and with social media and just digital media and being so prevalent that you can develop your, your business's brand by showcasing the individuals that you have within the, you know, within that. So when you have a, you know, and it's easy for us when we're we're doing stuff for for fun places like Burley or or the Starbird or Mackey's or what have you, right. because people like working there, people like going there, and and that sort of thing. But you know, there's always a story to be told and different perspectives of the people who work there mm. to tell the stories. So yeah, so building those, encouraging, you know, businesses, and then my job is to capture that. But right. encouraging people to develop their personal brand. Right. And so, for instance, at a place like Mackey's or a place like Burley, like, you know, the bartenders, you know, might want to have, maybe not the bartenders, it depends. I mean, like, all right, so a place like the Starboard who has the same bartender for 50, like, if, they're, if you're yeah. a manager, if you're a long-term employee, then you should have, you know, then your social media presence should say something about 
you know, what you do. Or you can you can have one that's just like a lot of reporters have them for, you know, you know, Joe at, you know, the Daily Times Joe or something like that. Right. I never did that. Yeah. The reason I never did that is because I knew that I didn't want to have to like if I was to, if I was still like T R Bayside Gazette at yeah. Twitter. <laughs> You know, right, right. So, you know, before before you before you do that, and the other thing that I do is I, you know, I take my career into my hands every day when I go on Twitter. That's that's the other, <laughs> that that's the other the kind of trade off. Twitter is for trolls, and uh, that's so that's the other kind of trade off. But if you feel if you feel like you're gonna be in your in this particular career for a while, sure, then use social media to be better at it. There's this woman who I don't know, I believe she works for Founders now. Um, on Twitter, she's brewed for Natalie, and this is like the third beer company she worked oh, for. Yeah. But she didn't But she's do, a beer person, yeah. So. Right, so she didn't, she wasn't like, no offense intended, like Christy Evo, right? Right. Ms. Christy's is Evo. Yep. yep. And so she's Christy and Evo. If she goes to Bells, she goes to Bells <laughs> then she's going to have to, you know, yeah. develop a whole new thing. Whereas Brute for Natalie, right? like I said, and she, I mean, she's good at what she does and she's fun. Um, like, like Matt Funk, um, yeah. he's, he's a dogfish guy and he'll, I can't imagine him leaving because he's kind of like the god of one of the biggest beer companies in the region. Right. He's the guy. Yeah, he really is. But he's not. He liked my Facebook status. <laughs> <laughs> That's <was> very nice. <laughs> Uh, but he's not, he's not Dogfish Matt. He's right. Crafty Funk. Right. Because wherever he goes, I mean, unless he gets out of the crowd, and like, if he goes to work for I don't know, Budweiser or something, then, then that might be, might be a tough sell. Right. Um, as Crafty Funk. I but see, like, yeah. you know, as long as he's in the craft beer business, or he's tricking people, <laughs> <laughs> one or the other, that's an appropriate Twitter handle. Right. Forever. And, uh, one of the things, uh, the other thing that people should remember, though, is, Sometimes he he's notorious for it. No, I'm not him. Um, someone else at one of the other breweries who I'm not going to say because I don't want okay. I don't want to. Um, but I'll, I'll say Rar does it because Rar does does a good job on both sides. Uh -huh. um, but I know that like Randy will post stuff and I'll be like, oh, I should share this on SureCraftBeer.com because it's a really interesting craft beer thing. But then he'll have the privacy set. Oh right. So that you can't that you can't share it. Yeah. And I don't think that he realizes that. And I mean, it's not my job to tell him. So if you're if you're listening, then Randy, you know. Randy. Uh, but like you know, if he's like, it's a cool picture of 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 the new can. Yeah. I mean, why keep that secret? Like, right. why, why why can I see that? Well, and it's it's I think it's you know when you're dancing in between sort of the professional like persona and then a personal persona, you know, like right. people people can be weird about have and probably should be weird about having uh their kids, kids and stuff. You know, yeah yeah and stuff, no, I think and stuff like that. i mean i don't i'm you you see me. i'm i'm but also that's that's the my kid has a youtube channel that has had more hits than i do <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, the, but also it's the personality we cultivate where we're like yeah. yes we're going to embarrass ourselves my daughter i was dancing in the kitchen last night like being silly dancing like yeah like this uh -huh. And then like this, I like and it. yeah, and I was videotaped, and they put that up on on their Instagram. Yes. And it's just as simple as that. <laughs> that's that's about how it goes. <laughs> In fact, uh, you know, I'm, uh, talking about Instagram and and all of that, building your personal brand. You know, I'm still trying to figure out Snapchat a little bit, especially as it comes to brands. There's another one called Quora. I, I don't even know that one. That's what Google says. Okay, uh, but uh, but what, <laughs> what we started doing, uh, Natalie and I, you know, it's like that's like real embedded, you know, sort of brand building at the personal level, at the real personal level. Right. So, we're like, we we post embarrassing pictures of each other back and forth, you know, because it's a very, you know, right. small you group of people. Yeah. You know, I mean, 20 people see people uh, see Natalie dyeing her hair, and it, you know, and it looks crazy and right. that sort of thing. And then I'm sleeping on the couch, which, you know, happens inevitably every night, you know, that we're not out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I mean that yeah, the personal building the personal brand and having it relate to the the bigger picture, I think is uh, I think it's important. I think it's important for employers to understand that that's how things are going and and to cu help cultivate. You that. can you can exactly you can do a good job or or you can do a bad job. You can you can bring people along or you can kind of spin out of control, um, and you know just have everybody put you know my opinions are my own on on their social media site, right uh, and their social media things and uh, that was the other thing that google suggested which i don't i don't dis i don't disagree with it 
but I can't do it. Is like you know they said you know you should be on as many, you should be on as targeted as social. So like if you are a business people person, you should be posting on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. I'll probably live and die and never post on LinkedIn. <laughs> but I mean Natalie posts sometimes on LinkedIn. Yeah. Well, so, and, and 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 part of that is because we have clients now that that is that is their uh, sort of forum. Yeah. And and yeah, and I don't think you need to be on everything. I do. I have suggested to people that you should at least. Uh, you know, capture those things like you know, good clean fun. Get your name. Yeah, I have my name on almost everything. You know, so so that you're so somebody can't like you know troll you. All right. So the year is 1995. Uh huh. And it was time for me to sign up for America Online. <laughs> and I tried to sign up for Tony Russo, uh-huh. but seeing as it's Joe Smith in Italian, mm-hmm. I was it was taken. So I'm like, well, just I'll do my name backwards. O S S U R Y N O T. And, and so now, it began. And I, it never occurred to me how weird that is. So it's my name backwards. And I say that to people, and they're like, oh, yeah, but it never occurred to me that it wasn't obvious. So then even when Twitter came out, I could have been Tony Russo on Twitter. You know, yeah. I could have been Tony Russo on Facebook. I was really early to all of these parties. And it was just occurring to me the other day. I'm like, you could have just, I mean, I don't, I haven't used AOL in 10 years. <laughs> you could have abandoned. I could have abandoned that O-S-S-U-R-Y-N-O-T in 2000. And still had all of the... I could have been Tony Russo on everything else. Right. And I just regretted that, like, three days ago. It just occurred to me. I was like, ah, oh, that's right. Right. Yeah, so of course Tony Russo was on AOL first, but... I mean, there were... there were, When I... My, I like to tell this story. I'm sorry, I've told it before. But when I did a search on people... When I did a Twitter search, when I first signed up with my SMS phone... This is pre-smartphone. <laughs> nice. There were... I, I, you looked online, there were three people in the area... On Twitter, on the peninsula in yeah. Maryland, on Maryland's eastern shore, and in Delaware, um, and I also I called the Verizon store because I wanted to do a story on it for the Bayside Gazette. Yeah, and I said, you know, I want to do a story on Twitter, and they're like, we don't know what that is. Wow, isn't that crazy? It is, and now it's almost gone. <laughs> and now it's almost gone. <laughs> well, I will, I will be, I'll, I'll be there on Twitter, and I'll be there, I'll be the last person out of Twitter. I'll be the last person out of Google Plus. Yeah. We're still, we're, we'll start repping Google Plus pretty solidly. I think it's changed, right? It's it's no longer. I mean, I think they've ad- abandoned the idea that it's going to be a um, Facebook like Facebook. It's social. A, it's a net. I mean, I've been post. I've been saying that for years. It's it's the center of a web. Yeah, and that's how I still use it. I've been using it. I've been using it for OceanCity.com, and we're getting some. We get some traction for it because it's so. It's so focused. That's the upside is it's it's focused enough, small, focused enough that when you put something up there for Ocean City, everybody in Ocean City sees it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, so, uh, interestingly, uh, something that happened this week uh, or the past week uh, on Instagram, uh, you know, talk about people sort of uh, trying to be ahead of the curve and trying to adopt. Well, the opposite of that happens when people... Uh, are not doing the research that they need to do and they're trying to adopt something that isn't actually happening like the Instagram you have to you know follow notifications in order to see posts again so did you did you catch this no was it a, was it a so on Instagram this past it week it still works though right yes all right I just checked it before there there was uh, and, and this is happening they're, they're talking about changing their algorithms uh, to be non-chronological. Twitter did that, and they made you opt out. Yes. So if you don't want to see the most, if you want to see them in order, you have to say, I want to see them in order. Otherwise, you're going to see them like on Facebook, where you have to fight to right. get Right. So, th- so, the but this is the model that they're using, because that's, this is how the, the pay model for them is, is going to end up working out, because they have to be able to put things in your feed that you don't want. Right. Um, however, th- in the past week, they had this... Uh, Somehow, somebody got it in their head and wrongly informed everybody that on Tuesday morning, if your followers didn't, you know, follow or turn on notifications for your uh, Instagram page, Mm. that they would never see another Instagram again. I mean, first of all, let's take a step back. And there's plenty of motorcycle and... Girls doing uh, dumbbell squats and you know and things like that that I could never see again and, and that would notice. and that would be fine. Right. Um, those are you know those are things that are you know 
At one point, I, I, I have one friend who does bodybuilding, and now I get Jess, this, uh, Jessica. Yeah, now I get all of these feeds of girls doing squats. Oh, you get extra. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I use <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all the same way. I just push. That's just me. It's just push. here's my stuff. If yeah. you have your stuff, you can send it to me in the mail. <laughs> Well, you'll start getting some mail. Email um, it to me. Um, but uh, but yeah, so it, you know all these people, and there was this uh, this rash of people, you know, clamoring and saying, you know, turn on my notifications, turn on my notifications, turn on, and and that's a terrible idea. And it didn't take but a two minute search to find out that uh, they weren't changing their algorithms the very next day. Uh, they're not even changing them. Uh, initially, they said it could be weeks, it could be months, and and now they're saying. We're still experimenting. Yeah, with this. The, we'll we'll let you know. Yeah, so I don't know. It, Although, I, th I just think it's funny when people like jump on a uh, a something. Now, one of the things that was promised from Instagram, and I haven't heard anything, is being able to be, switch between accounts. That has been promised, and I have not seen it work yet. And that's that's unfortunate because I can't use it for I can't use it for business. And I think there are a lot of people who don't use it for their businesses. We run for that reason because I mean. I mean, it wouldn't matter, like most of, it, it just matters that I, there are things like Ocean, for OceanCity.com that I put on Twitter and I put on Facebook, but I don't put it on Instagram because, you know, one of the things about a corporation is they have really long involved passwords that, right. you know, that everybody has right. because you don't want them to get, you know, it can't be Tony number one because yes. you don't want anybody to take over your Instagram when you have you know, Tony number one. Yeah. So, um, so unfortunately, and, and it, and it, and it kind of hurts us, like, we have one person who will go out and do, you know, and they're in charge of the Instagram, but I always felt like, you know, I'm out, and I, I'm taking these photos anyway, I could, I could be adding to the Instagram conversation, right, but I can't switch back and forth. Well, and that's... And everyone needs to see me in my Mets hat, so why would I? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> everyone needs to see every ocean. martini I drink. <laughs> Well, and, and then for people like us, we have brands where we're doing stuff behind the scenes. And right, we, for I mean, that. Yeah, and so, you know, Nick's Fish House is doing an opening day special for the Orioles, but they're, you know, um, but, you know, you also have to post something for the starboard down here or whatever it is. So it's like to be able to switch back and forth. Would be huge. Because I can do it in Twitter, and I do. I, 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 can, I have like seven Twitter accounts that I, right. that I manage. And I do always start from the home page because... Sometimes I'm mean on Twitter, so I want to make sure that I'm being mean for me and not mean from any of right. any of the people who write me paychecks. Right, right. Should we talk? Should in. we talk about the the mean Twitter that was uh, in the area? Oh yeah, we we we, abso we absolutely can. I don't I don't have an opinion on it except that I I liked I liked your opinion on it. Yeah, it's like there were more words dedicated to the outrage over it than were actually right. It was some to the some kid and. It's mean girl stuff, and it's terrible. I have a, I have a, I have a daughter who's in high school. You right. Know, you know, I mean. Well, the, the thing is, I've, I've actually, I, I have some cyberbully experience. Not just being a cyberbully. <laughs> uh, but, you know, so, so when, I, when I was in, when one of my, one of my kids had a, had a thing. And you know how parents listen closely. This is how you handle cyberbullying. Pick up the phone, you call the kid's parents, say, hey, this is Tony Russo. Um, have you gotten a chance to take a look at your kid's social thing recently? Because uh, I think I think you'll be I think you'll be disturbed. If you're not, we can have a conversation about it. Right. But take a look, and then if you feel like we need to talk, if you feel like I'm being too sensitive, I'm willing to be too sensitive. You look, you tell me if I'm too sensitive. Right. Right. Problem solved. That's the most two things. You talk to your kid. You talk to the other grown-ups. We want to do so much of this stuff on Facebook, so much breastfeeding, and so much, and so much complaining and and just like we want to avoid one of the things that social networks have given us the ability to do is to avoid conflict right and everyone wants to avoid conflict that's why it's called conflict yeah right <laughs> um and if you just realize that yeah everyone wants to avoid conflict and i'm willing to engage in a little bit of conflict on my child's behalf right yeah, have a little courage and you know and yeah. and between you and your kids and whoever I don't want to know. It's yeah. none of my business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. I, don't, I don't want to tell you what to do or right. what not to do. I will tell you what I did and that it worked for me just fine. Right. And it's one of those things. Where, and word gets out. Like, okay, well, he might call. Like, did you hear that Megan's dad actually called Phil's house and says something? Like, holy shit, Megan talks to her dad? Well, 
Nobody <laughs> thought that. Right. Problem right. solved. I never would have expected that. Congratulations in five years and 215 episodes. That's the most reasonable I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's an unimportant thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you know, things uh, that matter. Things that matter. I can. I you can, can really pull through. Yeah, I do what I can. <laughs> That's great. Uh, yeah. So uh, that is that is wonderful advice. And I often, you know, talk about how social media allows for, uh, you know, this this emotive reaction to everything and doesn't allow for a you know a thoughtful reaction to anything because you get you know it gets it gets lost People in the, in the noise control. yeah which is which is why i mean I, I i was i was a little proud of myself and i was trying like i don't know i can't tell you how many times i deleted what I was going <laughs> yeah, to write. Type, delete, I'm like, I don't type, even know delete. these people. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I'm seeing this. I don't know why I'm typing. So let's take a step back, <laughs> and let's not rant. It's early, and I. I mean, I was. I was like kind of on fire yesterday. I. Right. I, I. I was. I was. That, that, I said I said the T word and I was trolling. I'm like, okay, yeah. who, who else can I make miserable this morning? Who else is Monday morning can I ruin? Right, right. Perk me at the internet. And just for for context, for oh, I'm the, sorry, the, yeah. the people who are going to watch us, there was a a Twitter handle that came out about Decatur, uh, the high school, and it was you know it was a burn book. It was like you know hottest freshman girl, hot you know coolest yeah, lacrosse just... player, and then it was like. Biggest asshole, you know, it's like it was just ridiculous. And, Very, were, and they have people like, and they were all polls, and they had people participating, right? There, you know, and and I'm not saying it's not mean. I'm just saying just ignore them, right? Go away. Well, you know, it's funny too. Is so if if my daughter, I mean, because when they said nobody should sign up for that, I'm like, okay, well, that first order of business, <laughs> follow. <laughs> well, so this is so this is the question. My daughter, if if she were to uh, be one of the ones that discovered as following. Right. You know, it's like, that's a serious conversation between me and her. And uh, the first thing that I would point to is, is my friend who works in, uh, works closely with Towson University and the admissions department for uh, athletics. And there's a lot more monitoring of, you know, uh, if, if you're, if, yeah, but if you're following, if you're following a Twitter handle on your social media, that's F Decatur, right? You know that that could potentially throw up a, a red flag. Not if you're good enough. <laughs> well, yeah. They'll just, they'll they'll just say, hey, it. stop that. No, no. If you're good enough, it will. Oh. Like, if you're if you're if you're if you're a very good football player, they do. You could you could be following <laughs> Hitler is the best dot com, and they'll be like, yeah, Hitler probably is the best, but delete that. And also. If you're gonna smack your wife, smack her someplace where she can hide under the clothes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, who you're who you are here, and we're bringing right. <laughs> right. Who, who, who you're who you're following is probably not relevant. What you're what you're saying and doing could be. I mean that that could be more relevant. But again, just a lot of times they'll say, hey, if they care enough, they'll say, hey, delete it. If they don't care enough, they, like if they care enough to look. They right. care enough to tell you to take it off, you know? Yeah. They don't care enough to say, oh, well, then we're not taking that star running back because he followed F. Decatur <laughs> back when he was 14. No. 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 Yeah. I'm sorry. Because somebody would say, hey, actually, he was the number one football player on the on the poll right. that they had. <laughs> right. So. so and, and I think, like, like, if you're following Kanye West, maybe, that should keep you out of college. <laughs> But because it, because he had the album College Dropout. Oh, he, I didn't know that. There you go. Because I'm a Kanye West dropout. I don't. You know what? I don't know anything about Kanye West at all. Except people talk about him a lot, so I must hate him. I think I think he might. You made this uh, analogy about uh, Bieber and Frank Sinatra. Oh, I see. He may Same thing. he may be. You know, some there might be some similarity there. Right. That just Frank Sinatra was a huge jerk. Right. But and, but now he's revered. Right. And nobody. Well, nobody. Nobody knew he was Nobody, how much of a jerk he was. It, it was he. He had a, he had spread his jerkiness pretty personally, yeah. like guy to guy. You know, a hundred people at a time. Yeah. You know, in a country of three hundred million people, it takes a while. You know, it, it took fifty years for the word to get out. <laughs> Whereas Kanye West and and Justin Bieber, people like that, have they have immediate access to. They, they can show people how jerky they are, like, like that. Um, just real quick, if you want to follow me on Genius, follow me on Genius. It's my name backwards, so S S U R Y N O T. <laughs> Um, Genius is an annotate the web uh, app, and you should at least look at it. Uh, what you can do is you can go to a blog and you can comment on 
the blog in a sidebar for people for other people who use Genius. Um, it was initially done for song lyrics, um, and I think it's still mainly a song lyric thing. But what I've been using it for, which is why I wanted to bring it up, is I've been actually an uh, annotating my own blogs because I'm from the. It's a little pretentious. I'm sorry. It's just. It's I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm from the uh, David Foster Wallace and uh, Chuck Klosterman school of, I love to footnote things. Like, I want to talk about this, but I can't talk about it here because it doesn't go with the sentence. Right. Right. So the paragraph is about this, but I want to say something more about this that isn't going to fit in the paragraph. Right. What they started doing was like sidebar footnoting it. Yeah. Right. And so this one I can say, huh. this, is, this is more about this thing. I re I'm reading Infinite Jest. It's, it's taking some time to get through. It's a thousand pages and change. I read a five-page long footnote <laughs> to show you how and they you're like, it. I am not nearly as obnoxious oh, no. as I think. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. Well, it, no, he's, he's a, I think David Foster Wallace is like an actual genius genius. Yeah. Like, like Mozart genius type. Um, Real genius. Yes, I, I, it is I, not, 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 yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying he was cool or he was bright. I'm saying that, you know, he could barely, he called himself. Uh, oh, he, yeah. yeah, he killed himself. He. When he would go away, he he had uh, dogs with psychological issues. He would have to hire special people to watch his dogs really? with the psychological issues. He's very sensitive and very yeah. very overwrought, but also also a brilliant writer. Hmm. Anyway, David Foster Wallace, Chuck Klosterman, Tony Russo, annotating the hell out of themselves. There you go. There you go. Um, you didn't get to talk much this week, but we are out of time. Yeah. And we'll talk twice as much next week. I'll have some water. I'll bring a little something. <laughs> I'll bring a lollipop, maybe. <laughs> Very good. So do you have anything else? I got nothing. All right. Well, may Todd give you the sense to live in a small town. We'll see you next week at happy hour. Cheers. Cheers.